So today we're going to talk about what is worse, white sugar or white flour. Now, when I'm talking about sugar, I'm not talking about beet sugar. I'm talking about cane sugar, okay, and just regular white wheat flour. Now, beet sugar is GMO, and so is high fructose corn syrup, but cane sugar is not. Now, on the glycemic index, we have a 63 compared to a 71. So white flour is worse than sugar. However, both of them are going to create similar effects uh, with the spike in insulin. We're going to get weight gain, especially belly fat. We're going to get uh, eventually a fatty liver if we do too much. Um, the complications of a pre-diabetic, insulin resistance, and eventually diabetes, high cholesterol, and the list goes on and on and on. The thing with white sugar is they don't use bleach, okay? But they do use bleach in the flour. So what they're going to do with the sugar is they're going to take sugar cane and they're going to take out the vitamins and the minerals. They're going to take that in a separate thing, and that's called molasses. And what's left is the white sugar. So the white sugar is pure carbohydrate without the nutrients. The problem is when you consume this concentrated white sugar without the nutrients, it will deplete you of nutrients because in order to metabolize that sugar, you need these vitamins and minerals, okay? So if you don't have them, the body has to reach within its reserve, pull them out to use that in the burning of that sugar. So you end up with a potassium deficiency, magnesium deficiency, B1 deficiency, and a calcium deficiency. Now with the flour, when they refine it, they also take out the vitamins and the minerals. So you're left with a pure carbohydrate without the minerals and vitamins. But most flour is fortified, okay? So they're going to add back in some synthetic vitamins and iron, okay? But not the type of iron that you want. Those so-called nutrients that they put in create a problem, especially if you have a problem with iron, which a lot of people do. It's very difficult to get rid of iron. Our bodies tend to accumulate it, but we have a hard time getting rid of it. So if you're consuming food with extra iron in the wrong source, it can build up and create a lot of problems. Now, with the flour, they use dough conditioners to make the dough really easy to turn into bread and pastries and things like that. Then they use a bleaching agent called benzoyl peroxide, okay, which, by the way, will combine with certain proteins in the wheat, like gluten, and make this thing called a loxin. Now, a loxin is what they use in experiments with rats. When you feed these rodents a loxin, it kills off the cells of the pancreas that make insulin and they become a diabetic type one, okay? Now, I'm not saying this creates the same effect in humans, only in mice and probably hamsters. Now, if you have a pet hamster or a gerbil, make sure you do not feed them this flour with benzoyl peroxide, okay? Because we don't want to give them aloxin and make them a diabetic type one because then you're gonna have to do the insulin thing. It's gonna be a problem. All right, so here's the big negative about flour, okay? Potassium bromate. This is banned in Europe, China, Brazil, and Canada, but not in the US because it's been known to cause cancer in animals. So they put this in the flour to make the texture of the dough just perfect when you make those muffins or those pastries or the croissants, okay? But it comes with a package. And let's not forget the gluten, okay? So many people have a problem with gluten. It can actually trigger an autoimmune disease and create a lot of inflammation in your gut. So as you can see, if we compare these two, uh, there's a lot more problems with this than that. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.